it's one of the most revered texts in Judaism, the Passover Haggadah. The National Library of Israel in Jerusalem houses the largest collection of Haggadot in the world. A Haggadah is a text read during Passover that recounts the story of the ancient Israelites' exodus from Egypt. This is the oldest Haggadah in the library's collection, maybe even the oldest surviving Haggadah ever found. It came from the famed Cairo Geniza. It's dated roughly to the 12th century, um, and it's perfectly legible. It's, you know, ubilvenim uvechol avodah basadeh et kol avodatam asher avdu bahem befarech. That's a verse from Exodus which appears in the Passover Haggadah. Dating back over 850 years, this bifolio was discovered among the 400,000 pages and fragments of the Cairo Geniza, an important collection of Jewish texts found in the storeroom of the Ben Ezra Synagogue in Old Cairo, Egypt. Dr. Yoel Finkelman is the curator of the Haim and Hannah Solomon Judaica collection at the National Library. The liturgy for Passover is the single most commonly printed and published work in Jewish tradition, more than a prayer book, more than a Bible. During the Passover Seder ritual feast, Jewish families gather to read from this important text. It's one of the most popular holidays in the Jewish calendar. In his day-to-day, -day, Dr. Finkelman handles some of Judaism's greatest cultural treasures, like the earliest printed Haggadah in the world. From Guadalajara, Spain, this one-of-a-kind Haggadah was printed in the year 1480, just 12 years before the Jews were exiled from Spain. It was crafted just a few decades after the creation of the printing press. This is the beginning of the transition from the Haggadah as a luxury item that a family might barely be able to afford, if at all, or own one copy f for an extended family, to something that could be mass-produced more cheaply, more available. There's also this, a beautifully illuminated Passover book from Darmstadt, Germany, written in 1733. A Haggadah of this kind is a luxury item that, of course, only the wealthiest members of the community could possibly afford. This is much fancier in color on parchment and really meant for absolutely the highest echelons of society. Finally, another prized Haggadah is this late 19th century one from India, written in Hebrew and Marathi script. The National Library has taken all of these treasures and many more and digitized them, part of a wider vision to make rare and out-of-print items more accessible to the public. The National Library of Israel has a policy and an aspiration to open access as much as possible because we believe that these belong to everyone. These are great human treasures. Whilst nothing beats seeing them in person, digitization is a way to preserve these precious manuscripts and texts for future generations. From the National Library of Israel in Jerusalem, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line. Do you trust your news sources? Are you tired of one-sided reporting? You need to know the Media Line to know the Middle East. The world needs news you can trust. The Media Line is the first independent, non-profit American news agency covering the Middle East. Now in its 20th year, it's the best kept secret in the news business. Support the trusted Mideast news source today by going to themedialine.org.